Georgia Governor Brian Kemp is arguing criticism of the state's controversial new voting law that in part prohibits non-election workers from providing food and water to voters standing in line is a misstatement. A lot's been made specifically about serving water at, at polling centers, which I think is just ridiculous. People can bring their own water, their own food. That's accurate, right? Yeah, absolutely. They can order a pizza. They can order Grubhub or Uber Eats. Okay, first of all, if the people in your state have enough time to order Uber Eats while they're waiting to vote, that's already a pretty bad sign. I mean, at a certain point, they might as well just redirect their Amazon purchases there too. Yeah, where I live on the line now, so you think Amazon could just send the packages here? Two-day shipping? Yeah, I'll, I'll still be here. But what's clear is that while most people see Georgia's new voting laws as a blatant attempt to flip the state back to red, Republicans have a much different interpretation. So to break down what the Republicans are saying about this law, we had our very own Desi Lydic watch Fox News so that she could explain it to us. Last week, Georgia passed a new election law in response to Joe Biden's victory over actual President Trump. And then all heck broke loose. Is it time for American conservatives to cancel sports? They will certainly strike out with their predominantly conservative viewership. Let's not call it Coca-Cola anymore. Let's call it woke cola How many black people have died in the last hundred years from diabetes caused by Coca-Cola products? They want to boycott us. Why don't we boycott them? Confused? Well, I've been watching Fox News for one week straight with no bathroom breaks, and I'm ready to explain what the fake news is too fake to tell you. So we all remember what happened in Georgia during the 2020 election. Ballots slingshot into volcanoes, voting machines made by Antifa foot soldiers, and reports of one Georgia man changing outfits and potentially casting thousands of votes. Hello! So in response to these issues, the Georgia legislature passed a law to make the elections process easier, safer, more Republican, faster, illegal in Atlanta, and other common sense bipartisan ideas. This is just the way the founders intended us to vote. Step one, get an ID. Step two, go to your local elections office conveniently open between 9 a.m. and 9.02 a.m. Step three, solve a series of ancient riddles in order to receive a ballot application. And step four, look, there are 19 more steps. We've all read the Constitution, but for some reason, the commucrats are soiling their vegan underpanties just because it's now illegal to pass out bottled water to people who are waiting in line for nine hours to vote. Oh, so voters in line need water, but somehow it's illegal for Matt Gates to wine and dine a 17-year-old? Camels go nine hours without water all the time, and you can't? Oh, so there's... No, don't give it. The woke mob will tell you that Georgia's election law is designed to stop black people from voting. But can you even prove that black people exist? I haven't even seen one in my entire life. And now corporations think that they can act like people for some unclear reason, and they're protesting too. Coca-Cola, Delta, Microsoft are all speaking out against this beautiful law. I know three things. One, conservatives are pro-business. Two, conservatives are pro-freedom of speech. And three, conservatives need to destroy these businesses for opening their mouths. You thought Major Biden was bad for this country. Major League Baseball move the all-star game out of Atlanta. MLB is just BLM backwards. Ah! Hey, corporations, here's a simple rule. Stay out of politics, but stay involved in making our country better by giving money to Mitch McConnell. You know what? We need to boycott them all. The MLB, the NFL, PBS, CPR. The next time someone tries to give you the Heimlich maneuver, you tell them to buzz off right before you lose consciousness. And you better believe that if I were still allowed on commercial flights, I'd be boycotting the hell out of Delta. The cancel culture crowd is about to learn what happens when you try to cancel the cancel cancelers. You get cancelated. No! Thank you so much, Desi. I'm sorry we made you do that.